Greetings. Okay, so hopefully you guys don't mind if I do a blackout read right now while I'm on go. So I'm gonna um, just do a quick read with my Oracle cards. I'm gonna um, use the cards as a thumbnail so you guys can see the cards that I pulled. I'm probably gonna leave the tarot out and just use my own Oracle cards, okay? For a message. Holy Spirit. I for divine wisdom, divine truth. Is there anything that you want me to deliver to the collective? Holy Spirit, is there anything that you wish for me to deliver to the collective at this time? Is there anything that you wish for me to deliver? What are the messages? You have divine initiation with the Sephirim angels of the highest order. You have spiritual immaturity, the ancestors, and manifestation. So, let's see. Okay, so... You guys are leveling up on a spiritual level like you're about to be you're going higher in your spiritual gifting your spiritual awareness your connection to god spirit your spiritual team and these angels that are surrounding you i feel like they're guiding you through this initiation process because it's kind of like you're still it's like training wheels that you're kind of like how I explain it it's like you are Wherever this next level is like, obviously you don't know all the ins and the out of this next level. Like you are, um, you're being called higher. So it's kind of like you'll need the assistance in a sense, like the training wheels, you'll need that. Yeah, so... This is a very, this is a very powerful energy that is showing itself to you. So it might be something that whatever this next level is that you're about to, um, that you're about to be raised up in. They could be preparing you. Um, they're preparing you. For something you're not all the way ready for whatever this is it's kind of like you're being initiated to the next level but you'll still need the guidance and the assistance and the protection but it's something that you're headed towards okay heavy alignment why is the ancestors here okay so in the Bible, Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, um, was, had seen the presence of the Sephirim, which is a sixth winged angel that sits on the throne. They worship, they exalt the throne of the most high. Um, but they also appear to him to help him purify himself, free himself of his ways. They call it sins in the Bible, you know, the things that. We need to free ourselves of cleanse ourselves because at the bottom of the deck ironically you have deliverance slash detox okay so there's something you're breaking yourself free from but they they met isaiah to help him with the purification process and cleansing um in order to assist him before he began his prophetic ministry so you guys are on your way to something here and they're they're prepping you it's like you're being called but there's still some work to be done in a sense Okay, 
so this presence of these angels they're very fiery okay some of you guys i feel you do work with ancestors the number 44 may be significant to you you do work with the ancestors or you're giving a lot of credit to your ancestors when in fact this the ways and the which of things that you've been getting through or healing and purifying yourself is some type of angelic force okay to have this angel of this degree the highest order come and present itself to you or present itself in this message um it's very powerful and i feel that it's far more powerful than ancestral energy if that makes sense some of you guys may have given credit to an ancestor for something that you freed yourself of not to say that you haven't been receiving some type of assistance with the blood that runs through your veins but there's something higher and greater um yeah some of you guys may not be um spiritually aware on a certain degree to receive this type of assistance or this type of guidance or to um welcome in this presence of this this angelic force we don't worship the angels or nothing like that so it's not saying to worship angels but um know that more so you're showing reverence to that which created them and your ancestors we don't give credit credit to things um per se or worship or show reverence um to things outside of self if that makes sense or things that were like the divine created excuse me i hope this is making sense because i feel like <laughs> i don't know whoever this is for hopefully it will make sense to you um yeah so for some of you this angelic assistance you feel like it's man it's a manifestation of an ancestor but in actuality it's an angelic presence here okay let me see what's at the top what's at the top of the deck you have unplug okay so you're also being divinely guided to unplug and detach from anything distracting you at this time because divine is needing your full on attention to call you higher like i said the suffering appeared um to prophet isaiah okay prophet isaiah was about to get started on his prophetic ministry so some of you guys you are prophetic seers um you guys have a calling of some sort okay so what the prophet elijah i don't know why i said elijah but there's something with an encounter here where you guys are being prepared for a divine mission that you're about to go on or a message that you're about to receive to deliver to people because that's all prophets are they are the bridge between the heavens and the physical realm to give the message from the divine to the people that's all prophets truly are it's messengers for the most high um they are the they are the middleman between the bridge between the spirit and the physical so for some of you guys it could be um a specific message that you're meant to bring and what prophets do is they bring hope in the midst of challenges as well they deliver the message of the divine the most high either they give you warnings they give you you know divine instructions even if it's a challenging message it is meant to instill some sort of hope so whatever you're being divinely guided to say or to speak it will be revealed to you and i feel the more and more you unplug and detach from what doesn't serve you or whatever's distracting you at this time even if it seems innocent anything that's taking your focus off of whatever it is that you're being called to whatever god the most high is calling you to focus on um it's it's a distraction that needs to be removed at this time okay if not permanently there's something here that needs you need to unplug from you're being encouraged rather to unplug from because you're being divinely initiated to a high level and there's still a level of spiritual immaturity which is why the angels are here to help you detox or free yourself so if you've been divinely instructed to do a spiritual cleanse or you're feeling led to take a, um, a spiritual bath detox fast i'm not a healthcare physician so please use your divine discernment um you guys have some some things 
coming to you you are a trailblazer you have a mission you have some work to do um spirit is saying that you are not of this world you know you're out of this world you're not of it you're in it but you're not of it being called to step out of you know the matrix of things in a sense keep your focus on where you're supposed to be there's something here with the divine counterpart the spirit is speaking about I don't really know what that is but that might be for someone I don't know but yeah I'm gonna leave it here do not judge my handwriting nor my drawing <laughs> it is not the best okay but it was all within good intention making this deck so I hope you guys enjoy it I'm gonna leave um, the thumbnail um, so you guys can see the cards that I pulled as always I appreciate you guys thank you so much be blessed be safe take care peace